I grew up in a joint family with four brothers. I would think my parents would always be worried till I was home. I started driving and taking my own whatever choices at 14 because I didn't want to go uh, public uh, service uh, convents uh, on buses where I was groped all the time. So I do took those choices gregariously. But people seeing me saying that, oh my God, you're fearless, but you know, I am full of fear. I guess on some level being an independent is fun. Um, I think it, it is more fun to have that freedom. I think it, it definitely curbs your fun if you're afraid uh, of what society thinks or you're afraid for your own safety, then that's not fun anymore. Being a girl, your guards always have to be up. Be at 4 o'clock in the night or 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, there's sometimes I'm actually scared that if I talk, if it's a driver's fault and if I talk back, he might just, I don't know, he might abuse, he might throw something at me. And we have seen this happening. I'm from Nift, Delhi, and one of my juniors, uh, she's from Lucknow, and uh, she refused a guy for marriage and he threw acid on her. Being a girl in this country, in this city is not easy. It's very difficult because you're walking on the road, everyone's checking various parts of your body out and I'm usually abusing every third man on the road, almost punching, almost getting into a fight. So I just avoid it and I'd love to be able to do that and not have to take my brother or my friend, guy friend out with me because I'm going here. I don't need to get dropped and picked up and you know. It's just sad. I know it's very sad but you feel threatened. Uh, especially at the wee hours, you know, you feel like, oh God, you know, if even if I wanted to call out for help, is my phone got its charge? Uh, do I have my power bank? You know, what if my uh, my car just stops? You know, who's going to come and help me? And those kind of things. Unfortunately, I feel in India, it is something all women think about when they go out at night or even in the day. They'll think twice about what they wear. They'll wonder, uh, is it okay to go? I used to live in Delhi, so there especially, there was no question. You wouldn't go by yourself anywhere. You wouldn't even go with just one guy. You'd have to have like a battalion of friends. This happened to me when I was sitting in a rickshaw once, okay? A guy is sitting in the rickshaw next to mine and staring at me and just like, nah, nah, wali look. and I'm like, so then I decided, hai bhai, wo sab chodo. I will look back at him. So I looked back at him and I started staring back at him. He looks at me for another two minutes and I'm just like, after which he turns around and goes, Kya ghoor rahi hai? Chhi. And I was like, Bhai sahab, aapne, one second, one second, who started the staring? And now I am dirty for looking back at you? So the, the expectation is, ki bhai, you know, you must just take this on. You must take on all my perversions, all my issues. You must take it on and you must be quiet about it. Otherwise, to kulta hai. Like, that's minimum. I remember this one incident, which I till date don't know what that man was trying to do, is uh, I uh, hailed for a cab and I got into it. And uh, this guy, and like middle-aged guy, he uh, like he started like driving parallel to my cab and then he was trying to say something to me. So I genuinely rolled the window down and I was like, huh, what, what? So, and then he said something like, you know, something like that. So I was like, what? So he's like, I was like, So I was like, what are you trying to say? Like I thought like something happened or did something fall from my bag or whatever. And he just kept saying and then he said something very dirty. I don't want to say on camera. <laughs> I was just like, how dare you say that to me in broad daylight in a city like Bombay? There are 15 people around you who can like just bash you up right now. But he still had the audacity to say that and he said whatever that he said and he just went. And I was just like, huh? <laughs> what did he say? Why was he saying that to me? We've been raised with these really ridiculous notions that ladki ghar ki izzat hoti hai. Even the fact that, you know, it's it's the identity of the rape victim that we are blurring. I, we should be shaming the rapist. We should be shaming people who are committing the crimes instead of making the girl feel like there's trauma and stigma upon her. That is something that she invited upon her. Education, awareness, conditioning plays a big part. From the moment you are born, 
to how your parents don't discriminate you with your brother or your other cousins there's comparison education if it's the boy's role only to take the burden of the entire family if the a girl is educated enough she could also be an earning member and a helper in the family just by opening doors or being chivalrous is not uh, being a nice guy it's beyond that you need to give your wife your daughter the freedom that you would give your son and then see and make the world a safer and better place to live in you know what i'm very afraid for the safety of women in india yeah i share your fear too yes and i'm even more afraid that people won't get the message we are trying to give here until we tell it to them straight stop violence against women stop sexual harassment of women and end gender discrimination against girls and women everywhere gender equality is goal 5 of the united nations global goals for sustainable development and you know how we can make gender equality a reality in india by telling everyone like share subscribe this video and tell everyone still waiting tell everyone go tell them on quick now now tell them now now tell them now now abhi karo like share subscribe now